Hello everybody and welcome to my ninth Intermediate Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to carry on going into if statements uh, and also venture into using them with other functions. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get around various uh, errors. Uh, now the uh, first error I'm going to show you is, is how to get rid of the uh, divide by zero error. Um, and well this is actually going to get rid of any errors for you by using an if statement so all this is doing is just working out a simple percentage um, but as you can see sometimes people are filling in uh, none applicable or they're not filling it in at all or they're putting in zeros so what do we want it to do so we want it to go equals uh, uh, if and then we want it to test whether or not this is errors so how do we do this? Well, there's uh, Excel has a function built in, and it's called is error. And all you do is just wrap your uh, formula inside is error, and then that's going to return true if, if there is an error and false if there isn't. So your field for the true is what you want it to do if, if there is an error. And what I want it to do is if there's zero dogs out of a total of zero, I wanted to put zero percent. So let's put in zero there. Otherwise, uh, let's grab our formula. Otherwise, run the formula. Close bracket. Enter. And then if we drag this across, you're going to notice that all of a sudden, all of our errors that were showing up have all gone which is really useful, it looks a lot tidier um, and allows you to just capture things when your formulas are going wrong and, and do something else instead. In this case I'm just putting zero but you could put in any other formulas in there at all. Um, so what would we want to do in this situation because if these are non applicable I want this showing as non applicable as well. So instead of putting this zero there I'm going to go is text open bracket and we need to put an if statement in first so if is text c4 so is text is going to return true or false depending on whether or not this is a text field here so if we put another comma so if it's true and it is text then we know that someone's filled in na so we'll fill in na otherwise go back and fill in zero um, close bracket so we've used as a nested if statement here in the true section of here so if it's if it errors it's also going to test if it's is it text if it is text put an a otherwise put zero and we don't want that second uh, quotation mark there um, so let's close that off drag it across uh, and it's probably not going to work now there we go, brilliant. So it's tested that this, this is text. It is text, so it's put an A. On this one, it's tested if it's tested if it's text. Uh, it's not text, it's a number, so it's put zero. Um, but here, on this date, it hasn't been filled in yet. So the last thing I want to do is just test. If none of those are true, let's go and test whether or not the cell is equal to nothing so the one we use for that is is blank open bracket uh, and then click on the cell close bracket and again we want to put this in an if statement so if is blank comma so if it is blank then we want it to be blank as well otherwise we want to put the good old trusty zero in so let's close that down, drag it across, and there we go. So that's exactly what we wanted. So it, this has really tidied up our table and made it do exactly what we wanted to do. So this doesn't fill in until this is filled in. This doesn't fill in. Uh, this doesn't fill in with a number. It fills in with an unapplicable. Um, and you'll notice if I put in values in here, um, then that's going to go through as zero. But if I drag that across to make put the sum in, then we get our percentage. If I overwrite this one with NA, then that's going to come up with NA. Uh, if I put NA in here as well, then it's gone. Um, 
there are a couple more um, that are like this if you go into more functions and go into the information section uh, then you have is blank is error error is error um, is logical so whether or not it's a value that's true or false is NA so um, that's not that that's the actual non applicable that Excel returns um, is none text um, this number is ref uh, is text um, and then that's it so that's how you use the uh, kind of inspection um, functions you'll find that these fun kind of functions happen quite a lot in a lot of programming languages so these are quite useful to get used to using um, is blank is normally is no is, is quite a common one um, but in Excel it's, it is blank. Um, anyway, thanks for listening to this tutorial uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.